The following technical presentation is about an hour long and is based on material taken right out of our four-day core spring course. Like the live training events, this session is going to include detailed discussion of theory and concepts along with live coding exercises. During a live training experience, students will be presented with many presentations like this along with valuable interactive discussions and a lot of reinforcing lab work. Let's go ahead and get started with the presentation. The title of this section is Developing Aspects with Spring AOP. The first topic that I want to talk about is the problem that AOP solves. The AOP is about enabling the modularization of cross-cutting concerns, and we're going to talk a lot about what that really means. And I'll start by discussing uh, what is a cross-cutting concern. A cross-cutting concern is a piece of functionality that's needed in potentially lots of places in your application. Things like logging and security, uh, transaction management, those are examples of cross-cutting concerns. Those are things that show up in a lot of places in your application. Uh, so consider a requirement like you need to perform a role-based security check before every application method. And the word every there is your indicator that this is probably a cross-cutting concern, something that, you, that uh, you should modularize. So let's talk about to why modularizing those concerns is a good idea. And a good way to start with that is to talk about what happens if you don't modularize those cross-cutting concerns. And if you don't modularize those cross-cutting concerns, really two bad things happen. One is you end up with what's known as code tangling. So inside of your application components, you'll have, the, you'll have uh, a transaction management code and logging code and security code. All of that will be mixed up with your application logic. That is code tangling. You've tangled up all of those concerns in one class. So that's a, that's a bad thing. And another problem that comes out of not modularizing those cross-cutting concerns is what's known as code scattering, right? So if you don't modularize that security code or that logging code, that same security code and that same logging code will show up in lots of places in your application, and that's, uh, that's, that's known as code scattering. So, so code tangling and code scattering, those are both, both things that you want to avoid, and modularizing your cross-cutting concerns uh, will help you do exactly that. This is an example of code tangling. We've got security code mixed up with our application code. We've got a mixing of concerns here. That's not a good thing. This is an example of code scattering. I've got this same security code scattered across potentially lots of places in my application. We've got, uh, we, we, maybe we've copy and pasted that code into every one of our methods where we need to carry out a, uh, a security check. That uh, obviously is a bad thing. So those are examples of code tangling and code scattering. Those are both problems that we want to avoid. 